All right, guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about black kyanite. Black kyanite. And uh, I don't have a ton of specimens. So the only thing I'll be showing you today are these two. Um, I sell a decent amount of black kyanite. And I think I don't have a ton of this in my collection, to be honest with you. Um, I only have a couple more pieces like about this size but normally i have a whole bunch of specimens to show you throughout the video but only have a couple here and these are my favorite two um this one i have used quite a bit and i keep it on my shelf and i work with it quite a bit this specific piece actually and this is all you really need when you're working with uh, black kyanite and let me put this one down and start talking about it so black kyanite um, I already made a, a video on blue kyanite and blue kyanite is one of the all overall necessities that you need to have in your crystal collection. I would also recommend picking up black kyanite and pairing it with blue kyanite. The reason is they work perfectly together. Um, I already talked about blue kyanite, so you could check out that video, but blue kyanite is like an overall chakra energy body aligner. It's going to feed you that energy and heal a lot of the, that stuff. Now, like any type of damage or uh, any of that kind of stuff on your energy body, tears, rips. Now, that it's almost like the blue kyanite is like the power, like the electricity, the, the lightning bolt. Black kyanite, this is, I, I think of this like a broom and scissors. Now, I know, I might be strange. I definitely am strange. But here's the broom. <laughs> and the scissors are up here. So think of this like a cutting tool, like a knife, scissors, something along the lines of that. And they're always in this kind of representation where they're like a spray. like a, And one end will be the broom. And one end is the scissors or the knife end. That's what I think of kyanite when I look at it. Why is that? Because it's perfect for using to sweep away all the negative crap stuck to you. Now, I've made other videos. There's, there's a ton of different crystals, minerals that are going to get rid of that negative energy. Um, any, any kind of crap stuck to you. Nothing does it better than black kyanite. Nothing. And this is commonly used in Reiki sessions and, and stuff like that, where you're going to essentially sweep away. You could fan this over your entire body. And again, pair it with blue kyanite. That'll give you the extra kick and propel this to work even better. But use it with blue kyanite and you're going to see awesome awesome changes this is gonna get rid of any junk gunk negative crap and paired with blue kyanite it's gonna repair any damage that is has been done any little rips tears any kind of stuff like that you sweep all the negative away and as you're going it's gonna heal and repair that energy body now very important the scissor part the scissor part is and i might have to make a separate video because i touched upon this on one of my other videos and whether you guys believe it or not there are astral entities out that think of it like if you're going in the woods and you get a tick stuck to you um i mean there's so many different physical variations of parasites and Little things that can mess with your health from a physical standpoint. Well, same applies to your energy body. So there are things out there that you cannot see that will stick to you. Little astral parasites, little astral entities, little... I'm not saying um, like some crazy six-fanged ten-horned demon is going to attach itself to you. But... I'm saying little tiny entities which people don't know are even there. 
and they're going to slowly, they're like little astral parasites, little vampires, so to speak. And they'll still drain you. And you, you don't even know they're there. They could last for years before sometimes they detach. Well, guess what? If you're using black kyanite paired with the broom where you're cleaning up, if you use, it doesn't matter each end. It's just a, I'm just using it as a representation, but think of it like the scissors where you're just cutting away all those negative little parasites that are attached to your body. Think of it like that. Like this is the scissor end. And when you're fanning and going over that energy body, it is going to clip them all away. And that is the number one thing I use for black kyanite. And when you pair that, when you pair the black kyanite with the blue kyanite, you're going to have the power behind it. And now you have the scissors to cut out all that junk away. You're going to feel so much better if you use black kyanite and wave it around your energy body from head to toe paired with a piece of blue kyanite, you are going to start to feel so much better. And it usually comes with more energy, clear headed, and whatever those little nasties are, are draining out of you, you pull it off. Now you got a little hole there. This is going to fix it. And you, it's going to not maybe in one shot, but you keep using it paired with some blue kyanite. You're going to fix all that damage all those little monsters attached to you, you're going to get rid of them, say goodbye, and then repair them. And that's what I use this for. This is also a root chakra. It's most associated with the root chakra if you had to pair it with one particular chakra. But again, this works with your entire energy body. Works great with that. Now, some of the stuff where blue kyanite works, or I mean, excuse me, black kyanite works by itself in great areas is past life recall. And there are stones and crystals out there better than black kyanite for past life recall. But if you focus on your intent with that's kind of what you want to get out of this crystal, it will help recall those memories and i don't know if they actually have polished black kyanite because it is a little tricky you're not going to want to keep something like this in your bed and roll over and have it stab you in the face <laughs> so um some of these are not that bad though you put something like this under your pillow or whatever that's probably your best bet for working it with it um with past life type of stuff um also just meditating with it um, you don't have to get crazy in some deep, deep state. However, when you're working with past life stuff, you, you do got to go a little deeper. Um, I'm sure that tons of people have videos on all that kind of stuff, but it is definitely great for that as well. But it's also pretty cheap. It's, uh, it's, it's a definitely affordable. And when you pair it, uh, I can't say it enough, pair it with blue kyanite, you're going to see a big change especially when you're just working with it frequently this is something you want in your collection along with blue kyanite you want the two of them hand in hand and work with it trust me see how it goes let me know what you experience you work with it enough and again you're not going to know all what's stuck to you but you get it all off of there you're going to start feeling better you're going to start it's going to trickle down. You're going to feel way better. You're going to have more energy. A lot of those little parasites, you don't even know you have. But again, you have physical parasites too you don't even know you have. So I would highly recommend this. And uh, again, I do sell black kyanite. I don't know if I have any for sale currently, but um, it's it's definitely something that, that sells quickly because it's one of those stones where it's just, it's so useful and it's not just something you want to sit on your shelf and, and it is beautiful to look at. Absolutely. But you're going to want to work with it, work with your crystals. Don't just sit them on a shelf and, and, and sure they're beautiful to look at, but work with them and get the benefits out of them. Let them help you. That's what they're here for. So 
There's another one, Black Kyanite. Definitely pick some of that up. You will not regret it and pair it with Blue Kyanite. Have a good one, guys. See you next time.